Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope you're having an amazing day. Sorry, I keep looking out the window. It's snowing like crazy out there. No wonder why they called school. We already got three or four inches, and now we're supposed to get a couple more on top of that today. So there is no morning walk this morning. And this is the morning verse. The Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 14 And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to, the be, sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. I'm kind of noticing a reoccurrence in the... Uh, devotions for today. It is a sweet thought that Jesus Christ did not come forth without his Father's permission, authority, consent, and assistance. He was sent of the Father that he might be the Savior of men. We are too apt to forget that. While there are distinctions as to the persons in the Trinity, there are no distinctions of honor. We too frequently ascribe the honor of our salvation, or at least, at least the depths of the benevolence, more to Jesus Christ than we do the Father. This is a very great mistake. What if Jesus came did not his father send him? If he spoke wondrously, did not his father pour grace into his lips? That he might be able, might be an able minister of the new covenant. He who knoweth the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, as he should know them, never setteth one before another in his love. He sees them as he sees them at Bethlehem, at Gethsemane, and on Calvary. <coughs> Sorry. All equally engaged in the work of salvation. O Christian, hast thou put thy confidence in the man Christ Jesus? Hast thou placed thy reliance solely on him? And Art thou united with him? Then believe that thou art united unto the God of heaven, since the man, Christ Jesus, thou art brother, and holdest closest fellowship. Thou art linked thereby with, the, with God the Eternal, and the Ancient of Days is thy father and thy friend. Didst thou ever consider the depth of love in the heart of Jehovah when God the Father equipped his Son for the great enterprise of mercy? If not, be this thy day's meditation. The Father sent him. We would not have Jesus Christ if it was not for the Father sending him. We would not have our salvation if the Father did not send him to become our salvation. We w could not say we were reborn if it was not for our Father sending down our brother to become our Savior, our Lord. Contemplate that subject. <clears throat> Think how Jesus works what the Father's will. Think how Jesus works what the Father wills. In the wounds of the dying Savior, see the love of the great I Am. Let every thought of Jesus be also connected with the eternal, ever-blessed God. For it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. 
And that's the morning verse for Wednesday, February 5th, 2014. We as Christians do put a lot of emphasis on Jesus Christ because he is our Lord and Savior. But that does not mean we should diminish the Father any. Many nights, not every night, but many nights when I pray, I thank the Father for sending Jesus. Or during the day when I talk, I'll mention the Father. And that if it wasn't for him sending Jesus, we wouldn't be saved. There would be no mercy, no grace, no salvation. We would all be dead. We would all die eternal life. Death, sorry. We would all die the eternal death. We would not have our redemption, our Redeemer, our salvation, if the Father did not send him to us. Glorify Jesus Christ, but don't forget our Father. Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. If you do not know, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, who was sent by the Father. Cry out to him. Ask him to forgive you of all your sins. Ask him to make you reborn, wash you clean. Pray to him daily. <clears throat> he desires that intimate relationship with you, which is prayer, which is talking to him daily, which is walking with him. And then inform somebody of our Father's love, of how powerful it was to send his only begotten Son who died for us to become our Savior. Let somebody know. I love you guys so very much. May the Lord have mercy on us all. God bless.